Hello fellow Runecasters, welcome to Northworthy Sagas and Stories. Today we're going to be talking about protection symbols. Don't get worried. In fact, sit you down, have a nice cup of tea or coffee or something equally uh, beneficial. And we're going to talk about protection symbols. And here is a protection symbol. I'll just hold that up so you can see it. Well, looks pretty doesn't it what this is you're protecting yourself from the four corners and you put barriers up in each corner so that you, they can't get past and these are stylized, stylized elwa these are rounded rather than the traditional straight up lines this would suggest it's a later uh, one where paper's involved not stone wood or anything like that Wear this and you're protected. Why have protection symbols? Well, you're living in a world where science is, can't explain a lot of things. Magic is prevalent and you need to protect yourself. Armour is all well and good, but this is your spiritual armour. So what else have we got? Now, I'll just stand up so you can see. If you look at my arm, this one. This is... Uh, a protection symbol you have the uh, ing with gefu but what it is is the spears of odin gungnir so argument's sake say somebody throws curse my way it bounces off the shield off the dig and back to them in other words they shoot themselves in the foot this is um as i say a very useful one to have as all of them are. This next one, I'll just come up closer. I think you can see it. There. This is called the Helm of All. Again, a protection symbol. And we have Hagal, the Rune of Change. And you're protected on all areas here. Again, stylized. In fact, there, look, um, we have a triple Elwa. So you're triple protected in that one area alone. And even if you hit there and there, you end up hitting barriers. The circles, again, are to contain your enemy. And the old days, it's said they tattooed it there on the forehead between the eyes. Um, I think it's a pretty looking thing anyway. Can you have too much protection? Hmm, I don't think so. You, there are many, many other sort of uh, signs. They were carried on till quite late, as you see in the protection symbol here. As I said earlier, with the rounded bits, that means they were using paper uh, or parchment, it would have been, of course. Uh, they to use parchment, which means you can do curvilinear uh, designs. Had it been prior to that, you'd have had it in wood or stone or bone, and they would have done angular movements. So anyway, there we have protection runes, or the protection symbols really, and I'm no doubt you can see these as you go around old buildings and. Uh, <laughs> old people like me so anyway i hope that's cleared some things up for you i'm sure we'll be doing something like this again later on till then happy casting and keep looking bye oh before i go don't forget to subscribe the usual way the old subscription bell or hashtag rune chat and the same with the old um uh protective symbols or bind runes so anyway till we meet again happy casting goodbye